there. It's already summer. So uh, I know your PCs have already started to heat a lot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. If you're stuck with these, it's the time to upgrade. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the coolers. Like, share and subscribe. Let's start the video. In order to select a very good cooler for your processor, you need to know the TDP of your processor. And to understand the TDP, I'll just tell you that TDP is the limit wherein the processor will draw that much of power. Every processor has a different TDP limit and it will dif uh, perform differently under different kind of loads. And if you're stuck with the stock cooler, your processor will be limited to only 65 watts of TDP. But in order to extract better performance out of the CPU, you'll need a uh, cooler. So, uh, all the processor have a tendency to go even above uh, 100 uh, watts. What? And some have the tendency to go above 200 and 300 watts also. Wow. So in order to uh, you know uh, sel select the perfect cooler for your processor, you need to know the TDP of the processor and select the cooler according to the TDP of the processor. So example, so I have a cooler with me uh, that that has a TDP limit of 95 watts and. Uh, now I have a cooler that has a TDP limit of 250 watts. That means the pro the cooler will support even up to 250 watts of uh, uh, processor drawing power. Even if the processor is drawing 250 watts, whatever the heat dissipation happens, the cooler will be able to uh, entirely cool the CPU uh, with ease. Uh, so basically there are two types of cooler that we have in our store or entirely. There is an air cooler and then there is a liquid cooler. So. Uh, air cooler is also available in different size and different forms. So there is a single fan ka air cooler, there is a dual fan ka air cooler with a uh, higher fan size. There is a fan size from like 80 mm to it ranges even up to 40, 140 mm. Uh, so these are the air coolers and in liquid coolers we have a radiator and there are uh, multiple fans attached to it and depending on the number of fans that it has, uh, we call the radiator accordingly. So uh, this has a 120 mm ka fan, so it's a 120 mm liquid cooler, 240 mm liquid cooler, 360 mm liquid cooler. So these are the types of coolers that we have. Damn! So the other things that you need to consider before buying a cooler is first we've covered the TDP of your processor, then the cooler types, air cooler and liquid cooler. Which one to select? It's all up to you. Chala, chala, chala. But the things that you need to know before buying a cooler is the size compatibility with the case. Second uh, is the uh, size compatibility and also the clearance room that it gives to your uh, RAM. 120,000. Hey! Belongs to me. Compatible is different and the RAM ka uh, clearance room is different. What do you mean by that? So sometimes even though the cooler is compatible with your case, it won't uh, leave room for your RAM. Photo. No. Hi. Okay. Um, and next is the noise levels. Uh, if you want very low noise, there are some coolers that have very less noise uh, from their fan because of the magnetic and some hydraulic bearing that they have. So do uh, be uh, open on uh, exploring those options as well. Uh, you can buy any cooler that you want, be it RGB, non-RGB, it can be with a single fan, a dual fan, you know, uh, it can be of any brand. Okay, but the only uh, matter of fact is okay, you need to have a very good TDP support from the cooler according to your processor and there should be a clearance room from your ca case and the price should be, uh, uh, it should fit in your budget. So that is the only things that we look for. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Thanks for looking at my fans.